Hi everyone, this is Dr. John Demartini. I'm sure you've had situations in your life that you've been challenged, maybe even projected labels have been put on you by people, and you may have thought that they're maybe handicaps. Well, it's very possible that the very handicaps and challenges and labels that you've experienced, the voids that you sometimes have, could be the very keys to your greatest achievements. In my situation, when I was a young boy, I had to wear braces as a child. I went to speech pathology. And then I was told in first grade I would never read, write, or communicate, never mount thing, never go very far in life because of dyslexia. And guess what happened to me? When I turned 18 years old, I got inspired by a gentleman and my life trajectory changed. And now I'm researching, writing, traveling, and teaching. So the very thing that was my void and my challenge and my label became a catalyst to me to go out and do what I love to do today. And if you look very carefully, even Richard Branson, who was also dyslexic, that was the label he had, he ended up, because of that, making sure he got surrounded by intelligent people, which I did a similar thing when I was young, and he delegated that and got great people around him to do things, so he'd get it done. And now he's achievement because of that, high achievement. And look at Sir Isaac Newton, when he was a young boy, um, his father died before he was born, and his mother basically had to give him up temporarily, and um, he ended up living with somebody else, and actually living with somebody that worked in an apothecary. And he ended up looking at potions and alchemy and all kinds of things and wanted to know God the Father and Mother Nature. And his voids became his values, his labels. Um, you know, he's reclusive and quiet and became him one of the most powerful men in the world. So sometimes the very challenges and the labels that you've been imposed on you could be the very things that catalyze a direction in life. When we've interviewed people, we find that uh, many doctors who had infirmaries when they were young and illnesses became the best doctors. They were the ones that wanted to find the solution. I remember I went to professional school with a guy named Al, and uh, Dr. Al Cavity, and uh, he ended up having his wife pass away when he was uh, in his in 20s. And uh, as a result of it, he went on to want to explore why did a person die of cancer? And he went on to get a, a doctorate in osteopathy, a doctor in medicine, a doctor in chiropractic, and a PhD and wanted to know, you know, what's the solution to cancer and became a cancer researcher. Many people who have had many challenges and they, these labels put on them by somebody, uh, even somebody considered stupid, they became maybe geniuses or they were, they, you know, you're an idiot or whatever, it became excelling. Or somebody said you'd never be able to do it. They went on to excel. I remember I was at a Walls Elk conference and I met a gentleman who was a, a Nobel Prize winner and had a nice conversation with him and uh, Paul Nernst. And here he was, um, when he was born, he was born by his sister. I get this, he got a Nobel Prize for genetics and the origin of life. And his 12-year-old sister was his mother. And he ended up not knowing that. He was raised by his actual grandparents. And he didn't know that until he got the Nobel Prize and investigated about his life and found out that his actual mother wasn't as, as we thought. It turned out to be his sister. And deep inside that, that very strange beginning um, led to him wanting to know the origin of life and the keys to genetics, the genetic code. He had a mystery inside him that drove him. So just in case you have a label put on you or a void in your life or some sort of a thinking a handicap, just ask yourself how specifically is what I'm experiencing right now going to help me fulfill my mission? And look carefully, you'll find that it's actually part of the underlying purpose in your life. And if you look very carefully, some of the things that you think are most missing becomes most important in your life. And I know for many people in life, that's, uh, that's the key to the drive. So if you are thinking somehow that you lack something, go and look up people that have the same origins of you. If you didn't have a mother, go look at all the people that were orphaned or didn't have a mother or father. Go look at all the celebrities and all the leaders of the world that started that way. Whatever your challenge was, whatever your label was, go look on the internet and look at people that had that and that went on to do extraordinary things and you'll find out that you're in an elite group. It's actually a gift, it's not necessarily a, a challenge. So in case you're having anything in your life that you're not thankful for about your life, uh, a, a thing you think is a label or a handicap, just look carefully and you'll find out it's a great gift. So just know that your voids become your values, your challenges become your opportunities, your scars become your stars, and your labels may be the very thing that's helping you become the greatest person you can possibly be.